next question question 35 direction for the following three items consider the given information and answer the three items that follows when three friends a b and c met it was found that each of them wore an outer uh, garment of a different color in random order the garments are jacket sweater and tie and the colors are blue white and black the surnames in random order are ribeiro kumar and singh further we know that then six statements are given so since there are a lot of information uh, we'll draw out a table to find uh, to uh, fill in all the information given so before uh, before pro proceeding with that uh, this is a very tricky question i will tell you why and if you look at the options what is c surname you can see there is cannot be determined there uh, in every question there is cannot be determined there is only three questions so um, as i told before uh, this is a lengthy question there is only three questions associated with it and it is tricky also so if you skip uh, you do this question only if you have uh, time with you i know people who got stuck in this question and the previous one previous big uh, reasoning question like this and wasted so many so much time in the exam hall so make sure that you don't do that mm, if you find it very difficult skip it there is a lot of other questions that you can score to clear the exam so okay anyway i will just draw out and why i will tell you why this is a tricky question so first solve i'll just draw out a uh, there is only three people so b c the number of people is very small the name government just for a bigger one and color okay now we will fill in the information given so it is given first statement is neither b nor ribeiro wore a white sweater so this is one of the most trickiest statement in this question so we can assume few things uh, indirectly from this one is when you say neither b nor ribeiro you can write you can say b and ribeiro are two different people uh, so if they were same people you don't say neither b nor ribeiro right so we this is one assumption you can make that is condition so i am not going to make that right now so i instead i am just going to uh, mark this uh, and it is said neither b nor ribeiro wore a white sweater See, a white sweater so it is given as a common word so the first assumption we are going to make is b is not equal to ribeiro the second assumption is sweater is white in color so sweater is white in color so the uh, this is another assumption we can make from the statement one if there was no white sweater they don't talk about white sweater right so sweater so one question is what if sweater is blue so the sweater's color let let it be blue sweater you still can come up with a statement like this neither b nor ribeiro wore a white sweater it doesn't uh, negate the fact that sweater can be of a different color but uh, that will complicate the question so we are not going uh, to uh, make it that complicated we are going to make it uh, we are going to uh, assume uh, assume this is a simple question and uh, wrote what is uh, the given information so before processing one we'll just go to two c or a tie so here we can directly put in tie as the garment c is wearing so singh's garment was not white so it is given 
sing is not right we'll use this information later and kumar does not wear a jacket so it is given kumar does not wear a jacket okay then ribeiro does not like to wear the black color so again ribeiro does not like to wear the black color so each of the each of the friends wore only one outer garment of only one color so that is the sixth information so again here if you see we will mark ribeiro b is not um, so towards b we have not white not so okay just before filling in that information so if you see c wore a tie i feel i feel the, use this information second statement i used filled in and singh's garment was not white i just uh, wrote here kumar's does not wear a jacket i wrote here uh ribero does not like to wear a black color that i wrote here each of the friends wore only outer garments of only one color so that uh, also also so if you see if you don't assume this uh if you don't make assumptions like this sweater is white b is not equal to ribero b was not wearing white either white nor a sweater we if you don't make any assumption like this we cannot fill in any information and all the answers will become cannot be determined so the problem is that cannot be determined option is already there in the answers so if you argue uh, how can we uh, write uh, assume such things um, uh, the, uh, we cannot we will not be able to proceed so instead i am going to assume such things so um we are for b it is not white it's not sweater or it is not white so i am going to fill in such info information like this uh and it is he is not ribero so we have this much information so from this we can see since b is not wearing uh, a sweater and sweater is white so the only option left is sweater has to be here and white has to be here so we assumed sweater is white now uh ribero does not uh, so we'll just look at the other stuff mm sweater so the only option left here is jacket so since uh, sweater and tie is filled this is jacket now we know that kumar is not wearing uh, kumar does not wear jacket so it is not kumar here so b cannot be ribero and b cannot be kumar that means b is uh, the only person left only surname that is left is singh so kumar not kumar not ribero so this is sing so we have sing sing is not wearing white we we know that okay now uh, since ribero is not wearing white sweater ribero cannot be this person right so ribero is white sweater is worn by a it, it, that is not ribe, ribero uh, so the only option that is left is ribero is this so here it becomes the only per, only surname that is left is kumar okay now uh kumar is not wearing jacket kumar is wearing white sweater so singh is not wearing white okay now uh, we have additional information ribero does not like black so since black cannot come here the only option that is left is blue and here it becomes black 
So all the information got filled in. If you see, uh, all the conditions satisfy neither B nor Ribeiro or a white setter. Uh, white setter was worn by A Kumar. So that is satisfied. C wore a tie. Uh, C wore a tie. That is satisfied. Singh's garment was not white. Singh's garment is black. So that is satisfied. Kumar does not wear a jacket. Kumar does not wear a jacket. Kumar is wearing white sweater. So that is satisfied. Ribeiro does not like to wear the black color. Ribeiro does not wear the black color. So Ribeiro is wearing blue color. Each of the friends wore only one outer garment of only one color. So all the information is filled in. So, uh, so the moment you assume uh, B is not equal to Ribeiro or sweater, there is only... Um, so from the statement one, we can assume that sweater is white in color and it's not worn by B and Ribeiro. Uh, so uh, when we make that assumption, we can easily fill in all other information. So we assume sweater is white in color. Sweater cannot... One could argue, so as I said earlier, one could argue this statement does not necessarily mean sweater is white in color. Sweater could be black or blue in color. If one uh, argue like that, then we will be unable to fill in all the information and all the answers will become cannot be determined. But the official UPSC answer key, uh, uh, the answer is not cannot be determined. So they expect us to assume such information as true. So the, uh, we have filled in all the information. Now we'll just copy paste and answer all the three questions associated with it. The first question is, what is C's surname? So if you see, this is our table and C's surname is Ribeiro. So first question 35, answer is A. Now we'll go to second question 36, question 36. I'll just copy paste the whole table here. Uh, what is the color of the tie? Color of the tie is blue. So the correct option is, sorry, correct option is B, blue. Option B, blue. So next question. Um, who wore the sweater? Sweater was worn by A. You see, sweater was on by A. So, solution to question 37 is A. So, all three questions are answered. So, I'll just go through 35. So, I explain the process uh, of filling all this information. So, as you see, it will take considerable time from our side to fill in all the information without messing up anything so do such questions only if you have good time in your hand otherwise leave it for the end or skip it so okay so that is the solution to question 35 36 and 37